All right, this Thanksgiving, we have a lot to be thankful for. While inflation caused by the pandemic and Russia's war continues to be a challenge, we have seen important progress. I feel safer already. And as we start preparing our Thanksgiving meals, grocery inflation is at its lowest level in over two years, with prices for eggs, milks, bacon, and fresh veggies lower than last year. You disgust me. How can you live with yourself? You sit on a throne of lies. Don't you just love how the greatest spreaders of disinfo are constantly accusing their critics and opponents of spreading disinfo? And it's always done as a pretext for demonization censorship, and violations of the First Amendment. Well, they're at it again with the White House spokes they, tweeting out claims that we should be thankful for Thanksgiving dinner, gas, and everything else that was now cheaper from two years ago. I'm gonna show you the hilarious results of that dubious claim, but also the Biden regime seems to be heavily implying that they're gonna force you all to accept that the economy is Bidenrific through the use of state propaganda. Convenient and reinforcement of that propaganda using shadowy disinformation groups that are predictably just a bunch of Democrat frauds. Oh. Great. All that in just a minute, but with the economy the way it is, I want to quickly tell you about an opportunity to secure your assets and get a free silver coin while you're at it. Investing in precious metals may sound confusing, but the team at Noble Gold Investments make it easy. Let's hear from actual Noble Gold Investments customers. The staff answered all my questions and helped me every step of the way. No pressure sales tactics, just honest guidance. Securing my future is less stressful thanks to Noble Gold's expertise. So don't settle for financial uncertainty. They'll suggest options and see if you can diversify into gold and silver. Right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free 5-ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualified accounts. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. Noble Gold Investments has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and countless five-star reviews. So why wait? Let's get started right now. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com, the only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk of investment, and there are no guarantees of any kind. All right, so KJP gave a press conference where she told these lies and then later tweeted it out. But unlike the White House press, Twitter X's community nodes called it out, saying that, quote, the claim compares prices to last year, a point in the middle of Biden's term. Even then, food prices are not lower as claimed. And in fact, since Biden took power, all prices remain significantly higher. Gas, for example, remains up 36% since Biden took office. Man. What do you think these pesky facts are gonna stop Joe Biden or Karen Jean-Pierre from spreading disinformation because they think it's somehow different when they do it? No. Almost three years in office. Inflation is up over 17% since President Biden came here. And you're inflation, saying that's still Trump's fault. Inflation, inflation is moderating because of the actions that this person, this president has taken. Doesn't because that mean that prices because are going up slower. They're still high. It's going down. The prices are going down. Down, down. Down. The prices are going down. Down, down. The very nipple of the world. They're literally not going down, according to their own data. Yet, these exact same liars think that they should be the Orwellian Ministry of Information, the judges of what's true and what isn't, then using that judgment to violate First Amendment rights using proxies, thus silencing your opposition. And just before an election. So free, so fair. Byron York sounded the alarm, saying, quote, Cause for concern. The Bind team is, quote, working with social media platforms to counter misinformation. This time it seeks to counter reports that food and other items cost a lot after Biden era inflation. No shit. I'm just gonna cut into the meat of this article. They're talking about Democrats being upset about expensive McDonald's, and the article goes on, the Big Mac conundrum reflects what Biden aides and senior Democrat officials regard as one of their most vexing challenges ahead of the 2024 presidential election. Even as inflation has fallen to a manageable 3%, that's not true, and although the labor market has remained hot amid strong growth, voters still do not like the economy, and they blame the president. Gee, why would they do that? If only they would have left some sort of clue. 
Inflation eased in October in the latest sign of a cooling economy, but it eased from a really high position that was brought there by Biden's policies. And this is the part that's really important. Overcoming this discontent and understanding what is driving it has become a central priority of the White House and Democratic lawmakers. Well, the discontent is being created by the economy and the economy is being created by Joe Biden and Democratic lawmakers. But in their minds, they're trying to save democracy so they can't let reality get in the way. What they're talking about is propaganda and censorship. It's not a leap, especially considering their past efforts along these lines. And they're going to do it with groups like disinformationindex.org. The State Department helps fund it and they hilariously claim to be objective arbiters. Advertisers use this organization to blacklist news sites and creators like yours truly. As you might expect, this alleged nonpartisan group turns out to just be another arm of the left and Democrat party. As you can see by this list, trustworthy sites are left wing and risky sites are in opposition to the left, or at least giving a perspective separate from mainstream Democrat media narratives. The quote least risky news sites are all sites that spread some pretty epic disinformation. For example, the riots from 2015 to 2020 that were all largely based on disinformation spread by the media. Then you have the Steele dossier, Russian collusion, COVID origins, the Hunter laptop, and dozens and dozens of other stories scattered in between that didn't get as much attention. But I think have still contributed to the overall stratification and distrust in this country. So yeah, powerful liars who are known to spread lots of disinformation are bound and determined to be the judges and enforcers of disinformation. With the election coming up, I think we all know this won't end well for the opponents of Democrats and Joe Biden. That's all I got. Thanks for watching and make sure to keep checking back.